What is up, Algebraians, and welcome back to some online notes here dealing with 3.6 matrix multiplication. So we learned about addition and subtraction and scaling matrices yesterday. Today it's about matrix multiplication. Um, first thing you are going to need is your graphing calculator. If you don't have one, um, try and bear with me or write down the steps. Um, your graphing calculator will be your best friend for matrix multiplication, your G-Calc, okay? First thing is I want to show you how to enter matrices into your calculator. Um, with your calculator handy, okay, um, we can enter in matrices and that's going to help make your life much easier. Um, first thing we want to do is if you didn't already clear out the RAM, I did that ahead of time. Um, now to enter in matrix mode, you're going to hit second x negative 1 or you'll see it says matrix and yours might look a little bit different but you'll see these here you have matrix names those are just the different matrices you have math those are different operations you want to go to edit so matrix edit once in edit mode um, we can then enter in the different matrix depending on what labels we have Okay, so we're going to edit matrix A. Um, so you might have something in there, you might not, that's okay if you do. Now, the first thing you need to do is say what dimensions you need. So remember, dimensions go rows by columns. Okay, square matrices are easy because this is a two by two. Okay, so we type that in, two, enter, two, enter, and it makes this little matrix looking thing here, okay? Enter in your values, one, two, three, four, and we're good. Now the key thing is, once you're done editing, you want to leave the matrix. You have to do that by quitting, quitting the matrix, okay, which is second mode, and that'll bring you back to this window, okay. Um, take some time now to enter in matrix B, matrix C, and matrix D. Again, the process is second matrix over to edit. Now, if you're not familiar, this is a one row by two columns. So you go over to edit. Um, this time, go down to matrix B. And I already have it in there. Okay. So I already have mine in there. I'll give you some time. This is a two by three matrix. And this is a, sorry, this is a three by two matrix. What are you doing, Dvorsky? Three rows, three rows, and two columns. And this is a two by three. So pause the video right now and put in those matrices. Um, and I will get back to you in a bit. Okay, so hopefully you have those matrices entered in there. Um, afterwards, we are going to try and do some different things. Um, you should try out these different multiplications. We're just going to look at a few of them. So we're going to try and take matrix A times matrix B. To do that, we're going to call upon each matrix in the calculator. Um, again, we're going to enter into matrix world. Now we don't need to edit them, we're just going to call them by their names. So we'll hit enter. A will appear, we want to multiply, so hit multiply, and then second matrix B, so number two. And we try and multiply, and that doesn't work. Hmm. No, so not possible. We're going to learn that different matrices can or can't be multiplied, so it does not work. Um, the dimensions, if we have to write out the dimensions of A, that was a 2 by 2, and we tried multiplying it by a 1 by 2. Okay? Um, so there's different things to look at. Um, let's try B times C. So, second matrix. Uh, we'll hit 1, 2, let get out of there. Second matrix. B times second matrix C. Mm, that one doesn't work either, so not possible. 
and if we write down the dimensions, B was a 1 by 2, and C was a 3 by 2. I promise some of these will work. Let's try C times D, second matrix, clear out. C times D. Uh, and boom, this one works. Now, I'm not concerned about writing everything down, but yes, it does work. And if we write those matrix um, dimensions down, we were taking a 3 by 2 matrix, which was C, and multiplying it by a 2 by 3 matrix. Okay? So, we have a different, this one actually works, and notice something about the dimensions. Okay? A times D, just to write that out. A times D, we have the dimensions. A is a 2 by 2. And D is a 2 by 3. I am going to guess that it works. Now let's see. Second quit, so second matrix. Um, A times second matrix D. Ah, what do you know? We are correct. Interesting. Okay, so here is the trick. The dimensions of the two matrices. How do they need to relate? So for the first two, if we label them example one and two, the matrix multiplication didn't work. For three and four, it did. Okay. The key thing to notice is if you write out the dimensions, okay, if you write the dimensions out as to what you are trying to multiply, the inner two numbers, the number of columns, must equal the number of rows in the second matrix. So these two numbers need to be equal in order for you to multiply. Notice how it didn't work for these ones here. Okay. More specifically, the matrix that we get out is going to be a 3 by 3 in this case, or a 2 by 3. So that is a good way to determine if matrix multiplication is possible. The columns of the second matrix, or columns of the first matrix, must equal the rows of the second matrix. So write that down. For example, so if you have matrix, say, um, 1 times 4, you can multiply that by a 4 by 3 these two numbers work out so it is possible and the matrix that you would get out of it would be a 1 by 3 so you would get a 1 by 3 matrix as a result okay um, just really quickly so we really don't even need to type these into the calculator um, we can just determine by looking at them if it's possible to multiply so B times A B times A would be taking a 1 by 2 and multiplying it by a 2 by 2. That one is going to work and we'll be left with a 1 by 2 matrix. Cool. A times C. A times C. That's going to be a uh, 2 by 2 times a 3 by 2. Any guesses? It's not going to work. Okay? D times C. So D times C, 2 by 3 times a 3 by 2. Hey, that one will work out. And we'll be left with a 2 by 2. Okay? So notice that C times D worked. And so this one, matrix multiplication is actually not commutative. Um, so just something to be aware of. And D times A uh, would be a 2 by 3 times a 2 by 2. 
that one is not going to be possible. Okay, so pretty easy with those. Can we multiply? Simply why or why not? Um, again, if we write the dimensions out of this first matrix, this is a one row, two column. This is a two row, one column. What do you think? Can we multiply it? If you wrote yes, you are correct. Um, more specifically, you're just going to get a one by one matrix out of it. Um, number two, we have a two by two. And we're going to multiply it by a one by two. Can we multiply? No, the rows are not equal to the columns. Rows not equal to columns. And lastly, a two by two times a two by two. Um, pretty nice with square matrices. You can always do square matrices um, times one another. Yes, and you'll get a two by two. Okay, pretty easy stuff. Um, there is a way to do it by hand. Okay, it's very long and lengthy. What you do is you end up taking, so the column of the first times the rows of the second. It's very lengthy by hand. Um, I might do some extra notes to show you. Um, I won't ask that you do it by hand. I will let you use your calculator. So there's a little gift to you. Um, use your calculator. Um, just know that matrix multiplication is not always possible. So the types of problems you will come across are these here. Um, you may be given two matrices and need to multiply them. Um, you might have an order of operations. So for here, you're taking A times the quantity um, matrix B plus C. You can do all of those in your calculator, okay? If possible, some of them are not possible. So just type those into your calculator, A, B, and C, and try out these problems. I'll pause it again here, or you should pause it. Um, you should try these examples using your calculator, and when you're finished, um, bring your notes to class or show me and I'll give you credit for those. So try these problems, use your calculator, practice going into the matrix and coming out, and I'll see you in a bit. Show me your answers.